Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this, this text that they created, and they want to do text a path around a circle. Well, they did a pretty good job, but it's still not. It's, it's a rough line to line text. And you can't really do too much with it. You'd have to do a lot of work. We'll just pick another font. Let's go to DA Fonts. Just DA Font. And let's go to, there's nine pages of, I just typed in line. And there's bear line. Looks pretty good. So I go here, go back. I'm going to change this to bear line. I just use it so it's right there. And I think it looks just as good as that. And it, it's smooth. It's it's sweeping type font. And it's pretty much a single line font. Now, how do you figure out how, to, how long it to make this? Well, take your ellipse, go up to Windows, Dockers, Properties, and click on this right here. And it's going to tell you that it's 10.997. So basically 11 inches long. Let's make our font 10.75 inches long. Let's go to text, text the path, put it on a path and kind of get it where it's in the middle. Pretty cool. Now, let's say it's too close down there, just back up. Select your font again, let's go 10.5. Text, text the path, put it there. And it actually tells you that it's in the center with that red mark. And then if you want to get rid of the circle, the ellipse, just select it all, go to object and break text apart, and then you can get rid of that. But just in two pages that I looked at in DA fonts, it's uh, got bear line, there's moonshine, you know, that look like ink line. You want something that's a cursive, let's go just one more page, and there's straw line. Skyline, Modern Line, and AA something, I can't pronounce it. Let's use that font. Well, let's, let me show you how to, and also, when you're in DA fonts, you can type in a couple of words that you want to look at. Let's just type in, uh, let's type in a capital D and submit it. Then it's going to show you what those lines look like. You know, what the font's going to look like that you're going to use. I like that modern line, but we're going to use that in just a second. But let's, let me show you how to download a font. Just double click on the download. When the screen pops up, it's unzipping it already. You want to pick this one right here because that's a JPEG of it. Double click on it, install, remember the name, M-O-D-E-R, go to, back to your font, let's back up here, let's go to, Magnolia Script. Now this is not a, that might not even be it. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Magnolia Sky, I can't remember what we downloaded. That's pretty bad. Let's go back to that. Oh, it's huh. Modern Line is what we did. Look at that. Now that's a little more flair. I, I like the first one first, but there's nine pages in DA fonts. And I mean, I, I only looked at three. And if you typed out your whole, you know, if you typed out this whole text, let's turn this to, let's try this. Let's change this to Arial. Or some other readable text. Let's try that. I don't know if this will work. But let's, uh, Select it. Let's take the text tool 
and select it, this might not work. Copy it, take it into DA fonts, go right here. Might be too many words to, to preview. Paste it, nope, not gonna work. Good idea though. But anyway, there's there's nine pages to pick from. And you know, there that's pretty cool. Uh, and if you want a cursive, um, just look through it and type in anything you want. Anytime you need to find something, you know, if you need uh, animals or shapes or fish, let's just type in fish. Look at all the fish. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.